It is also often the case that architects would like to use Revit to create a, um, a curtain in front of a window for rendering purposes. And what we see over here is a family of the generic model adaptive kind in which some extra levels were created. Here I've created a level for the top of the curtain and there is a level for the base of the curtain. That is above the reference level. And then looking at a 3D view it's easy to see that in these levels I've created a set of lines that will act as a guide to create a spline on. So setting my looking at the top view just to see how it's orientated. Here's the insertion point, it's 100 away from the side. And uh, drawing in 3D. I'm going to set my reference level to the good and top level. And I'm going to place some points. Midpoint, endpoint, midpoint, endpoint. Again, approximating some or other sh uh, shape uh, like a sine curve. I select all of these points. I make them adaptive, which means that we will be able to manipulate them within the project. And I fit a spline through them. There they are. Great, there's the spline. And then what I'm going to do is delete the lines that created them with. Deselecting the spline. Press delete. There we go. Alternatively, I could have set those items to be invisible when loaded into a project. Doing the same with the base. Again, set the working plane to the curtain base. Place some points in exactly the same manner. This time the amplitude is a bit louder. This time I'm going to delete the lines from the word go. Fit the spline through the points. And next I'm going to create a shape. Well, first make the points adaptive. And then I'm going to fit the shape. We'll create a solid between these two splines. Right, so there is a beautiful shaped kind of like a curtain. I'm sure you can do better. And um, then what I'm going to add is a material parameter. Curtain material of type material. There we go. And make it a type property. Why not? Okay. And put that into the family. Great. Save the family. And then we can load it into our project. Now these generic points are going to want to be placed in sequence. And I just really want to place the curtain down there for me to go and move into place. So I'm going on to my floor plan. And then I'll bring in the curtain family. Load into project and close. I'm going to place one point and press enter. And there I can see the curtain was placed, wrong level, wrong height. Now it remains for me to 
move this into position. From a side elevation, I select the curtain and move it up. I know it must go to 200 in a vertical direction. And then I move from that reference plane 50 away from the wall I know it is. And I move that onto the wall. So it's got the correct height now. What remains is to move it into position here. So 100 away and 100 away from the side and from the top. I use a quick annotation detail line. One vertical, one horizontal. And I offset those by 100 to give me my intersection. Moving the family into position. Let's have a look at that in 3D. So we can see that it's taking shape. can have more than one of these curtains. Now we can mirror that about the midpoint of the window. So how about a material? Let's go and grab a material for this family. Okay, so of course here I've forgotten to apply the uh, parameter to the materials in the family, so I can edit the family, zoom into the shape, and on the material, map that to the good material parameter, save the family, and load into project and close and overwrite the existing version and its parameter values, and there we go. Alright, so there shows our curtain. What makes this curtain special is, unlike, um, say, a curtain that was generated in AutoCAD, it's quite easy to manipulate using these generic, uh, uh, or the adaptive points, because one can hover over these points, select one, select the axis or the plane in which one wants to move that point, and then one can very easily make this appear as if the wind is busy blowing the curtain. You can see the shape taking place. Maybe it's quite a gust of wind here. And there we can see the curtain is now blowing outwards. Okay, so it's very easy to create this this kind of appearance of the curtain morphing shape. And that makes it great for, for rendering. Once again, putting these families in front of every window is going to make the project quite large. So if it's not necessary, if it's not for rendering, or for rendering then uh, there would be little reason to do so. But a great way to create uh, a curtain for a nice render. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this. Have fun creating curtains in Revit. They really are quite great, these uh, generic uh, 
um, adaptive models and uh, one can do some really great work with them.